Good afternoon, sir. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Oh, good afternoon. Okay. Can we start, sir? Can you hear me well? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can we start, sir? Hello, good morning. Good morning from Greece, from Patras, Greece. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah. Good Are afternoon. We, am I audible, sir? Hello. Are we audible? Yeah. Do, do you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we yes. are audible. It's fine. No, yes. uh, okay, okay. Okay, shall welcome, we? Start? Welcome in this uh, very important uh, call. Uh, I'm very happy. I'm uh, Professor Calabruziotis, the president of uh, Hellenic Open University, and with the uh, vice president, uh, Ioannis, Professor Ioannis Betheros, and my colleague, Eleftheria Georgiou, to collaborate, uh, to discuss with us uh, today. And uh, I am very happy for, the, for this. Please. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. And Namaskar. I extend a very uh, warm welcome to you. Indeed, it is my pleasure and honor to welcome you all for this uh, very significant occasion. Uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor Indra Gandhi National Open University, Professor Nagisha Rao, sir. Professor Ioannis Kala Bruziotis, President of Hellenic Open University. Professor Ioannis Sibetharos, President Perfect. for Academic Affairs and Student Welfare, Hellenic Open University. All Pro Vice Chancellors of IGNU, Professor Umakam Jilal, Dr. Shrikant Mohapatra, Dr. Manrup Singh Meena, all the registrar and Director International Division. So today is a momentous occasion for us. It's a milestone. Today is a milestone uh, for our journey towards mutual collaboration, deeper uh, partnership, and a shared vision. I welcome you all for this historic occasion, for this momentous occasion. Uh, just to give you a brief about IGNU, IGNU, with this, uh, it's our largest open university since its inception in 1985. It has experienced a tremendous growth and it is known as the largest university in the world in terms of enrollment. With its 26 uh, overseas centers, which is spread across 15 uh, nations, it is, has a presence internationally. In addition to that, it has presence in 57 countries because of its various MOU and uh, projects. Uh, as uh, we say that, uh, according to Henry Ward, uh, staying together is a beginning, and uh, coming together is a process, and working together is success. This is a very important day. With this uh, word, I invite our <laughs> Director, International Division, Professor Jitain Shivasava, to, uh, to welcome our esteemed guest of today's ceremony, today's MOC exchange ceremony between Indra Gandhi National Open University and Hellenic Open University. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Madam. <clears throat> no, thank you. Good afternoon. I welcome Honorable Vice Chancellor Professor Nageshwar Rao on this occasion of MOC exchange ceremony between IGNU and Hellenic Open University Greece, between Indira Gandhi National Open University and Hellenic Open University Greece. Uh, it is important to mention that uh, this has been possible with the direction and effort of the Honorable Vice Chancellor. Uh, with the continuous effort of Honorable Vice Chancellor, I am pleased to inform that today the university has its presence in 57 countries through various MOAs, projects, schemes, and the uh, uh, cumulative enrollment of international students till uh, January uh, 2024 session reached to approximately 91,000. I, on behalf of Indira Gandhi National Open University, welcome Professor Ionis Kalabrujaitis, President of the Hellenic Open University, Professor Ionis Sipkharos, Vice President of, uh, for Academic Affairs and Students Welfare, and Ms. Uh, Eltheria George, uh, President's, uh, President's Office from Hellenic Open University. I also welcome all the Pro Vice Chancellor uh, from IGNU, registrars, directors, finance officer, and colleagues from the university on this occasion. Once again, I welcome all the dignitaries from both sides. 
thank you uh, uh, dr jitend shrivastava ji now i request uh, our pro vice chancellor professor uma kandilal madam to please uh, give us a correct yeah thank you professor sachi honorable vice chancellor of igmu professor nageshwar rao uh, respected president of hellenic open university professor ani kalabrajotis and vice president professor ani sibothreus participants from hellenic open university and uh, my colleagues from igmu good afternoon to all of you it's a great occasion i think this is a momentous occasion where we are going to sign an mou with i mean we are going to exchange our memorandum of collaboration with the hellenic open university and of course this is the first time that we are reaching out in greece so this is first time we are uh, i mean collaborating with a institution in greece uh, both being public institutions i think the collaboration is expected to provide great opportunities for the learners from both the countries in fact and uh, in fact as already professor sachi has mentioned we happen to be the largest university in the world with 3.5 million students on the rolls we have 21 schools of studies whereas i was looking into hellenic open university i think you have four uh, schools of studies in very specific areas in fact and in fact recently we have been emphasizing a lot on digital interventions so we have been uh, we are running almost 306 or uh, uh, open and distance learning programs apart from that 45 online programs are being provided and gradually we are moving towards offering online programs and when we say online pro programs it's right from registration to certification and in fact a lot of technology uh, interventions are there uh, we reach out to our learners through different modes uh through the web television web radio apart from that we have uh, our uh, seven channels one institutional and six government channels that are known as swayam prabha apart from that we are running uh, somewhere around 260 uh, plus moocs courses on the national portal like swayam and talking about the international presence i think we have met dent in many across the world and recent major developments have been a collaboration with uh, i mean gana uh, uh, open in gana uh, open and what is it online, online uh, <laughs> academy of learning from gana uh, it's a government of gana uh, project then we recently signed a mou with uh, open university of kenya where we are uh, hand holding and helping them out in setting up their uh open university in fact apart from that we have uh, a major interventions in the african countries 19 african countries through our ministry of external affairs project e vidya bharti and apart from that recently we are also are uh, reaching out to afghanistan i think the major this though this is going to be a generic uh, moc but i think in future we need to focus on major areas in terms of uh, academic collaboration in the sense of developing courses joint delivery uh, of courses and programs and especially perhaps emphasizing on skill based programs uh, talking in terms of in fact uh, when we talk about research i think in the collaboration i think the areas that need to be uh, worked uh, i mean mutual partnership is required is in the area of pedagogy instructional design and also perhaps uh, technology interventions especially the state of the art technologies that are being now used uh, artificial intelligence uh, augmented reality virtual reality and also we need to think in terms of can we have exchange programs when we talk about exchange programs student exchange and faculty exchange that also needs to be deliberated on and i think uh, this moc is opening up a great opportunity for both the institutions and uh, we look forward to a successful uh, memorandum of collaboration and future collaboration with the uh, hellenic open university and uh, thank you for this and uh, i think uh, i congratulate both the uh, institutions for this major intervention thank you very much thank you ma'am for giving a brief overview of igmu its national and international reach and also highlighting the area of collaboration 
Thank you. With this, I invite now our Pro Vice Chancellor, Dr. Shri Kant Mohapatra, sir, for his address. Thank you, ma'am. Honorable President and Vice President of the Hellenic Puni University in Greece, our Honorable Vice Chancellor Igno, dignitaries, <laughs> it's indeed a great uh, moment and occasion that we are signing a memorandum of collaboration between these two institutions, great institutions. I'm very happy that uh, we share so much of commonness among ourselves. We both are democratic countries. We have parliamentary system of government. We both are offering programs, academic programs through distance mode. You are offering programs at the postgraduate level, undergraduate level, and also doing research. You believe in lifelong learning, capacity building, and extension education. IGNO also has its mission of capacity building, training, research, and extension. So a lot of commonalities between the two great institutions. I have also seen that there are four schools of studies, which are a school of humanities. We have a school of humanities. You have a school of social science. IGNO has a school of social science. You have a school of science and engineering. We have a school of science and engineering. And also you have a school of applied arts. And IGNO has a school of performing arts. So, and a lot of the programs that you are offering at the postgraduate level and at the undergraduate level are also common. So, you have a panel of teachers who are drawn from the conventional system. I mean, regular universities, your course writers are from the regular universities. We also follow the same method of empaneling our course writers, our counselors, and our mentors from the regular colleges and conventional universities. So a lot of commonness between these two both institutions. Our Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister, very recently visited Greece. And your Prime Minister has said that Greece should be the gateway to Europe for, for India. So let us also feel that uh, first we reach your country and then we will also have a gateway to Europe. And IGNO being one of the largest open universities offering programs in both distance and online mode. And you also offering programs mostly in distance mode, but offlet in online mode also. We'll have a great future. And I wish that this MOC will really take us to new heights. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Highlighting the commonness between uh, Indira Gandhi uh, National Open University and Helenet's Open University. Uh, now I request our uh, Pro Vice Chancellor, Dr. Manrup Singh Meena Ji, to please give his address. Helenet's Khula Vishwadhyala ke adhach aur upadhach aur ignu ke kulpati सभी के लिए नमस्कार ये भारत के लिए और यूनान के लिए बड़े गर्व का दिन है आज कि दोनों देशों में अन्य गतिविधियों के अंतर्गत सहभागिता रही है लेकिन शैक्षणिक क्षेत्र में सहभागिता नहीं थी तो इस एमओसी से हेलमेट विश्वविद्यालय और इग्नु के माध्यम से भारत और यूनान के बीच में शैक्षण के क्षेत्र में आदान प्रदान को बढ़ावा मिलेगा और दोनों ही देशों के छात्रों को फायदा मिलेगा और एक दूसरे के जो शैक्षणिक गतिविधियां हैं तकनीकी हैं कोर्स हैं उनका भी आदान प्रदान होगा और एक दूसरे को लाभ होगा ऐसी मैं शुभकामनाएं देता हूं जय हिंद Uh, sir, I just want to briefly translate what Professor Mina has said. He has said that uh, it's a great occasion for both Greece and India. We are two great civilizations. We have collaboration from ages, but in the field of education, the collaboration was not that strong. So now in the field of education, let us collaborate 
and let us provide facilities and opportunities to students of both the uh, countries so that there will be greater exchange of students, greater exchange of teachers among the institutions and both the nations will be immensely benefited out of this co collaboration and he wishes uh, this occasion to be a grand success. Thank you, sir. Sir has very rightly pointed out that, that this memorandum of uh, uh, collaboration will serve as a catalyst for deeper collaboration between academia, teacher, and uh, it will not only serve the, uh, um, uh, it will not only benefit the both the institution, but also the learners whom we are catering to. Thank you. We are also having with us our uh, registrar administration, uh, Dr. Alok Chaubeji. Now I request him to please uh, give his address, sir. Honorable Vice Chancellor of the UNU, uh, uh, Honorable President, Vice President, and other dignitaries from uh, uh, Henrik uh, University of Greece, uh, Honorable Pro Vice Chancellors, and other dignitaries uh, of the UNU. Uh, very good afternoon to everyone and this is a very honorable uh, and proud moment for us that uh, we are here for uh, we are again uh, uh, we all are here gathered for a uh, this uh, MOC uh, MOC exchange program and uh, basically whatever vision we have seen here and uh, in this, and I hope that the seeing uh, this vision will come true very soon and new fronts of the different uh, uh, fields will open for us because there are so much diversity in the, uh, uh, the whatever the courses we taught here and whatever the, the courses we are, are being taught at the Greece. So naturally this collaboration will open new fronts. Some of courses we will exchange with you and the students of the both the countries will get the uh, international exposure by the exchanging the views, exchanging the guidance of the teacher from Greece as well as from the IGNO. So definitely it will be very fruitful because IGNO is the largest university and it is outreach to a very deprived sector of the India country. As well as now we are opening our fronts in, in uh, international, uh, I think more than uh, 50 countries we are, we are having our study centers and in the Europe this first time we are opening our, uh, uh, we are opening uh, uh, our, um, uh, this collaboration with the Greece and that's uh, rightly said by the, our uh, honorable pro vice chancellor sir, that this is a gateway for the um, Europe. So I again hope that this particular MOC will get definitely in the deeper and definitely we will be able to uh, enrich our uh, enrich our um, culture through exchange programs as well as we both will be able to serve for the society for social development through education so definitely it is going to be uh, a very fruitful uh, uh, it is going to give a very fruitful outcome and i hope that definitely both the countries will exchange more and more and deeper side we will go and we will exchange more not only courses but also we will exchange some cultural program also sure. I, I really thank uh, i really congratulate our coordinator jitendra shivastavji and the coordinator from the greece side for the making this possible to uh, make the collaboration between two uh, far more uh, uh, the countries which are very far away from each other and this is the greatness of the technology that we are here, even uh, at uh, we are sitting at the different countries and we are exchanging our views. So that is a greatness. And I think by using all this new technology, we will be able to exchange more and more our culture and our exchange programs. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir, for your valuable insight. We are having with us our distinguished guest, Professor Ioannis Sibetharos, who is Vice President for Academic Affairs and Student Welfare, Hellenic Open University. Uh, Dr. Sibetharos is a Professor of Hydraulic Engineering at the Civil Engineering Department, University of West Africa, and former Head of the Civil Surveying and Geoinformatics Engineering Department at the Technological and Educational Institute of Athens. 
He was appointed as Vice President of Academic Affairs and Student Welfare Services at the Hellenic Open University. With this brief introduction, sir, I will request you to please give your address. Thank you. Dear Vice Chancellor Professor Rao, distinguished representatives of IGNU, definitely today's ceremony is a very happy occasion. Everything I heard so far made me very happy and very enthusiastic. And uh, really, you've covered most of what I wanted to say. Nevertheless, I'll try to point a few more things for your benefit. We're indeed very pleased and definitely honored to sign an MOU, an MOC with IGNU. It's a prestigious university, MO, uh, IGNU, and we are very happy for this collaboration. Our university, Hellenic Open University, is a small institution, but it's very dynamic. It's young as well. It, was, it began its operation in 1997. And we have already approximately 81,000 uh, graduates. These numbers may sound small to you, but uh, for the size of Greece, these are significant numbers. Right now, we have 32,000 32, active students, of which 12,000 are undergraduates and 20,000 graduates. You can tell that it's a mixture of graduate and undergraduate students, but mostly it's, a, I would say, the it's a more uh, a graduate school rather than an undergraduate school. As you already mentioned, and you have done your your research and your work regarding uh, H Hellenic Open University, we have four schools, humanities, social sciences, science and technology, applied, applied arts and sustainable design, the fourth one, the youngest one. We offer nine undergraduate programs, and 68 graduate programs. So you can tell what I said is correct, that it's mostly graduate school. Of the 68 graduate programs, 10 of them are taught in English and they cover very interesting topics. You may find it interesting and they may be appealing to your students. Just, just an idea, two of them totally different with, between each other. One is called precision medicine and novel therapies. It has to do with the health sciences. And the other one is protection of cultural heritage and monuments of nature from the effects of climate change. Interesting topics. There are others as well, there are only these two out of the 10 that are taught in English, but just to give you an idea. Of course, we would be interested to knowing, to learning about similar programs offered by IGNU as well. Also, we'll be happy to discuss, uh, as you already mentioned, proposals for joint master's programs, for short studies, study, study programs, summer schools, exchange of faculty, any other means of cooperation. As as you already mentioned, technology makes us, uh, enables us to to realize any sorts of uh, collaboration. So I, if there are any questions, I'll be glad to answer. Uh, if not, I would like to congratulate all of us for this occasion, for the MOC signing. I believe it signifies a beginning of a very fruitful cooperation between our institutions. And I want to close by saying what whatever I heard today it was very, as I said in the beginning, made me very happy and very enthusiastic about what we're trying to do. It's uh, the sky is the limit in our collaboration, I think. So thank you very much for your attention and uh, hopefully we we'll see each other soon again. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for giving a brief overview, overview of Hellenic Open University. So we are indeed honored by your gracious presence virtually in this uh, ceremony of uh, MOC exchange. With these words, I will request our Honorable Vice Chancellor and uh, Professor Ianis Kali to finally exchange the MOU.
आप सब लोग आइए आ जाइए तस्वीर में आ जाइए आ जाइए तस्वीर में आ जाइए Hey, yes, I am very enthusiastic about uh, our collaboration at the MOU uh, between uh, our two universities. It is uh, a great day for uh, Hellenic Open University and, uh, of course, for uh, your university. Thank you very much for all. And uh, I think that uh, next two months, it is a very good opportunity to visit uh, your uh, university first or uh, here i have problem uh, to uh, collaborate uh, together and to discuss together uh, all about uh, our very uh, good collaboration in the near future thank you very much thank you sir sir ko bulaye sir ko Thank you so much, sir, for your uh, wishes, and we are uh, truly honored to have you over here. Thank you. It is uh, really we are honored uh, to witness this MOU exchange ceremony. Now I request our honourable Vice Chancellor. If you want to say something, sir. Do you want to say something, sir? Sir has. I'll give a brief introduction of uh, Professor Johannes Kala Buzo. This. Sir, it is personally a great honor for me to introduce yourself because uh, I basically I am also from environmental science background, and as I uh, seen your biodata, sir, you are basically a environmental geo uh, chemist, and I have seen uh, through your uh, biodata that you have uh, a PhD degree in environmental geochemistry from Department of Geology, University of Petras, Greece, and you have worked in various institution. various administrative board various universities in this capacity so we are truly honored and we are looking forward your word of wisdom and your insight in this uh, moc exchange ceremony sir please thank you very much sir uh, good afternoon to all uh, from the capital of western greece patras patras it's uh, the A campus the, here is the campus of Hellenic Open Universities. It is two hundred fifteen kilometers from the capital of Greece, Athens. It is the port to connect Greece to Italy direct. Uh, dear uh, Vice Chancellor Professor Rao, uh, dear uh, Vice Chancellors, dear colleagues. I'm very pleased to be here uh, in this uh, uh, today's ceremony to discuss issues related to our future collaboration, which I believe will be especially beneficial for both our institutions. I truly believe in the importance of internationalization of higher education institutions <clears throat> since it contributes in shaping the present changing pedagogical landscape by promoting academic collaboration and mobility which in turn with enhanced professional development promote constructive partnerships and activities and offer our learners the opportunity to have a international learning experience as the president of hellenic open university i am truly delighted to be here with you and to briefly share some information about our institution which shares many of the same values and goals The Hellenic Open University who was established in 1992 it is an independent and wholly self-governed public higher education institution of the Ministry of Education Religious Affairs and Sports it is the only distance teaching university in Greece the mission of the Hellenic Open University 
is to provide high quality university education via distance learning at undergraduate and postgraduate and doctoral level to all individuals uh, regardless of age, geographic location, or social economic status through the development and use of appropriate educational material and teaching methods. The objectives of the Hellenic Open University include the promotion of scientific research as well as the development of technology and methodology in the field of the transmission of knowledge in distance. In order to fulfill its mission, Hellenic Open University offers programs of studies with the methodology of distance education independently or in collaboration with other Greek or foreign universities. Furthermore, it organizes and implements lifelong learning programs aiming at training continuing professional training, reskilling up, upgrading of skills, general education of adults, a professional orientation and lifelong learning in general. Our university, uh, to explain before uh, uh, Vice Chancellor Professor uh, Ioannis Simetheros, has uh, four schools, the School of Science and Technology, the School of Humanities, the School of Social Sciences and the School of Applied Arts at Sustainable Design and offers nine undergraduate programs and 68 postgraduate programs in various fields. Among these two programs are offered in languages other than Greek, mostly English, and address international students. Our interactive online platforms and comprehensive digi digital resources ensure that our students receive a robust and engaging educational experience. Also, I would like to note that our institution has received many distinctions in the field of distance education and is ranked in high position among the institutions of open and distance education in the world. We are active members of five European organizations and associations for higher education and open and distance education. Namely, the International Council of, for Open and Distance Education, the European University Association, the European Distance and E-Learning Network, the European Association of Institutions in Higher Education, and of course, EADATATU, the European Association of Distance Teaching Universities. At the moment, we are trying to expand our collaborations with selected open higher education institutions outside of Europe, and we are truly glad that uh, your distinguished university has agreed to sign this memorandum of understanding with us. I am convinced that our collaboration will be fruitful and enriching since we both share the same vision of making education accessible, innovative, and impactful. Thank you very much for our collaboration. Well, thank you so much, sir, for giving the mission, vision of Hellenic Open University and uh, about its various schools and program. We are really looking forward for this academic collaboration. Now, uh, we are uh, honored to have the gracious presence of our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Nagesha Rao, sir. Sir is a visionary leader due to his vision, his uh, continuous efforts. The university is achieving new greater heights and now we are known as the largest open university and achieving excellence. So now I request you to please give your address. 
president of Hanonic Open University, Professor Kionis Kalogiotis, Professor Kionis Sebathoris, Vice President of for Academic Affairs and Student Welfare. Uh, my own colleagues, today it's a momentous occasion wherein both the universities, they have got an MOU and they are being exchanged today, virtually. The gracious presence of the President and Vice President of Hellonic Open University and their brief introduction to all of us is really useful to identify the gaps in which we all can collaborate with each other. Our university is the largest open university in the world and we do have 35 lakh students admitted every year and also around uh, 38 lakh students, they are passed out during the last 30 years. We are having more than 150 UG and PG programs plus 250 certificate and diploma programs also. We are having the ODL programs. We are also having the online programs. We follow the judicious blending of offline as well as the technological interventions in our reach. In our own country, we are reaching to our learners through 57 regional centers and more than 2,000 study centers. We are having our own electronic media production center and we are also having the ministries six Swayamprava channels, which are being used to reach to the learners. The popular programs which are having with us is the management program, the computer science programs, and we see the most of the socially useful programs of social sciences and the humanities. And a bigger canvas, and we provide education at an affordable cost to our learners. And we try to reach to those areas where even the communication is not there with the learners. We use the technology to reach to them. We are having our e-resources put at one place. They are called as e jan code. Further, we also provide the apps through which all the study material for all the programs, they are put at one place. And by click of that uh, app, we can have all the materials available to the learners also. We are also going for the bilingual processes. And now we are trying to see that uh, most of our regional languages, they can be covered. And in that mode, we are trying to provide the materials to our learners. The pass percentage is also good. And we provide the quality teaching learning process to all our learners. That is why our national accreditation process, it has given us the highest grade to this university in its very first cycle of accreditation. Today is a momentous occasion and we see that the areas which have been identified by both the institutions in which both of us will sit together and try to work to enhance the credibility, enhance the reach and build up the quality of this ODL education in the fields in which we all are working together. It's a great day for all of us. My sincere best wishes to you also. And it is the initiative of our Honorable Prime Minister who visited Greece and thereby this particular initiative, now it is being concretized by the international division of our university. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your inspirational work, for your insight. We are truly grateful to you, sir, for always motivating us, for always inspiring us, and always guiding us. This memorandum of collaboration, this ceremony is also uh, because of sir's vision and because of sir's guidance. Thank you so much, sir. With these words, I uh, request um, Director International Divisions, Professor J.K. Shivasa, sir, to please propose a formal vote. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> I propose a vote of thanks to the Honorable Vice Chancellor Ignu, President and Vice President Helnik Open University, Pro Vice Chancellors of Ignu, Registrars of Ignu, Directors, uh, <coughs> Finance Officer, and all dignitaries from both sides uh, for sparing <coughs> for sparing their uh, precious time to grace this 
MOC exchange ceremony between Indira Gandhi National Open University and Hellenic Open University. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a great pleasure. Thank and a you. Great thank you. Thank you. So, okay. uh, shall, shall we close the ceremony, sir? Yeah. Okay. We will keep in touch. Yes. Sure, 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 sir.